with Dr. Mabry. In this video, we're going to talk about treating the nasal tip with non-surgical rhinoplasty. The nasal tip is an area of concern for many people. They feel like their nose is too bulbous, too droopy, or just too large in general. And many of my patients are pleasantly surprised to find out that we can treat all of these concerns without surgery using fillers to the nose. The nasal tip is actually the very apex of the bottom of the nose. And a lot of patients will mistakenly think of the bottom of the nose as being the nasal tip. And many times there's a feeling that their tip is too big and really it's just that they don't have enough nasal tip. And it's important for this nasal tip to be more defined than the area just above it, which is called the super tip. When the super tip is more prominent than the tip, that's when we have a round or bulbous nose, and that makes patients feel like their nose is too large. On frontal view, oftentimes, the tip can be seen by the light reflex. So when you're looking at a nose, the light will hit on the tip defining points, and that is what needs to be defined in a patient. And this is an example of the first thing that you can do with non-surgical rhinoplasty, which is make the tip appear smaller or more defined. Looking at the before picture, you might think, okay, here's a patient with a large round tip, and I've augmented her nasal tip in particular, not the whole bottom of the nose, but just the tip defining points. I've also augmented some of the bridge to make sure that the tip and bridge are proportionate and balanced. And you can see on front of you, now the tip defining point is a smaller area where the light is hitting the nose. Another thing you can do for nasal tip with non-surgical rhinoplasty is increase the rotation. Sometimes patients feel like their tip is drooping and it looks like it's pointing downward. And by augmenting or adding to this nasal tip in the direction that makes it point up, we've rotated this tip up. This is another example of increasing rotation. And importantly, this shows how when the super tip area is more prominent than the tip, the nose can look bulbous or round. And so we want to augment both the tip and the bridge. On the front of you, her light reflex is smaller and more defined. This is an example of a patient who felt she had a bulbous nose. And oftentimes you think, well, we don't want to add to this nasal tip, the tip is too big. But the problem here is that the tip is not defined enough. And so we want to add to the tip defining points area and this gives her a pleasing nasal tip. The fourth thing that non-surgical rhinoplasty is great at is revision rhinoplasty. When there's been an over-resection with surgical rhinoplasty, fillers are a great way to rebuild the structure of the nose. And here we've rebuilt the tip, rebuilt the nasal bridge, and now her tip and entire nasal shape is more pleasing. And so in summary, non-surgical rhinoplasty is an excellent way to treat the nasal tip. It can make the nasal tip look smaller or more defined. It can make the droopy tip look less droopy and increase rotation. And it's an excellent way to rebuild the nose after previous surgical rhinoplasty. I hope this video was helpful and stay beautiful.